here's how you can optimize your YouTube channel to show up more in search results and can help you earn more views. Let's look at an unoptimized YouTube channel together. Here you can see the TubeBuddy support YouTube channel. You'll notice that we don't have a YouTube channel banner, profile picture, video shown, or anything on the front page. We need to set this up in two ways. One, for people to find the channel, and two, when they're on the channel, they know what content to start watching. This video is going to be looking at channels already created. If you want to learn how to create a YouTube channel, we'll have a link in the description down below under the YouTube chapters. The YouTube chapters are there so you can jump to any part of this video and rewatch if you need to. One thing to remember is that all the changes that we make to our channel page on desktop also affects how it looks on mobile phones. So since 80% of the traffic on YouTube is watching on mobile phones, you want to make sure that you keep people watching on their phones in mind. Let's head back to the TubeBuddy support channel. There are two ways you can optimize your YouTube channel. On the channel page, by clicking on the blue Customize Channel button, or on the YouTube Studio dashboard on the left-hand side. You'll see where it says your channel and have your name. Under that, you'll see the customization option. Both of these pages will take you to the channel customization page. Here you'll see layout, branding, and basic info. We'll start with the layout. This is how you can set up your channel with the channel trailer, videos for subscribers, and playlists so they can know where to start watching content. Kind of like what we have here for the main TubeBuddy YouTube channel. Let's walk through each section now. When laying out a YouTube channel, you want to think of it like your own personal Netflix, Hulu, or Disney+. Those platforms make it easy for you to see what content's there, and then make it easy for you to binge content on those platforms. It's very easy to do, so let's set up your YouTube channel in that way. Starting with the YouTube channel trailer. As YouTube says here, it is to share a preview of your channel. This is shown to people who haven't subscribed to your YouTube channel yet. To add a channel trailer, click on the blue Add button and select a video from your YouTube channel. Now, this video doesn't have to be a dedicated Welcome to my channel, here I do blank, blank, and blank style of video. You know the type. Now, there's nothing wrong with this, but there are more than just one type of channel trailer. It can be a recent video that gives a viewer an idea of what type of content to expect on your channel. If you're a vlogger, it could be your recent vlog. If you're a gamer, it could be the game you're playing. If you're an artist, the type of art you do, so on and so forth. If you haven't uploaded a video yet, don't worry. Just know when you do, be sure to feature it as a channel trailer to give people an expectation of the content you make. Regardless of the channel trailer type, you should have a channel trailer. There is no reason not to have one, and it's a great introduction to your content for new viewers. This is also a recommendation from YouTube themselves, and we'll have our sources also linked in the description. It is important to note that when you have a channel trailer, it will automatically start playing for people who aren't subscribed, so be sure to keep that in mind. Back to the channel customization page, we have our featured video for returning subscribers. This is a great opportunity to reach subscribers who haven't been on your channel in a while. You can update this with a video that you didn't think got a lot of views initially and can help that video do better by using it to inform your returning subscribers. To add it, just like the channel trailer, click on the add button and choose a video you want to feature for returning subscribers. One interesting note here from YouTube, if your subscribers have already watched the video, it won't be shown to them again. Under that is the featured sections. Here you can customize your YouTube channel with up to 10 unique sections. These are under your channel trailer slash featured video. Here you can add from three different sections. Click the plus add section to choose between videos, playlists, and channels. The video section lets you add your uploads, popular uploads, and YouTube shorts. YouTube Shorts at the time of this video don't show up on your YouTube channel on a computer, but YouTube said they will in the future, so if you're watching then, you'll see them on your channel, and that's awesome. If you do make YouTube Shorts, they're good to have featured on your YouTube channel. Until then, you'll need to check on your phone to see if the Shorts section shows up. Live Now shows if you're currently live streaming on YouTube, helpful if you're using YouTube primarily for streaming. Same with past live streams and upcoming live streams. Under that, you can add playlists from yourself or other people with single and multiple playlists. Whereas Created Playlist shows all the playlists you have created on your YouTube channel. In the Channel section, Subscription and Featured Channel lets you feature other YouTube channels you like or that are your subscriptions. YouTube themselves calls your YouTube channel your storefront, and this is where you can customize your channel to be clear and concise to new viewers on what they can expect from your channel. Now first, 
we don't recommend using the default uploads and popular uploads that YouTube suggests. Now, you might be wondering why YouTube gives them to us. First, these types of playlists are available to everyone on YouTube, so they don't show up in search or suggested. However, if you create your own playlist with your name recent uploads, for us at TubeBuddy, it's TubeBuddy's recent uploads, it can show up in the different search results and be suggested. So we recommend crafting your own popular uploads and having fun with the names. We could do a whole video on how to set up playlists. So if you'd like to see that, let us know in those comments down below. Let's start by adding some playlists and we'll explain our reasoning as we go along. We have our new to TubeBuddy start here playlist, which again, helps viewers know where to go when they come to our YouTube channel. This could be something like, best videos to start watching. Again, tell your audience where you want them to go and where you want them to start. Then think about what your channel is about. If it's a gaming channel, include the games you play in a single playlist where it's easy to watch all the videos about that one game. Going back to the Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu example, think about binging a show. You know what to expect. This is the same idea in a playlist. If you're a vlogger, feature all of your travel vlogs in a playlist, your daily vlogs in another, and common topics for your channel in another playlist. Group common video ideas into a playlist and give that playlist a clear title and description so your viewers can know exactly what to expect. On TubeBuddy, we have our getting started playlist followed by our latest tool videos playlist. And then we have things people ask about us clearly displayed and described on the channel. One of the reasons you wanna lead with your newest videos is because you don't want people to think that your channel isn't active anymore. Sometimes creators will have their popular uploads playlist here and those can be older videos. You wanna show that you're actively uploading, so make sure that your recent content is up higher. When you lay out your channel clearly and effectively, new people know what content you make and what content to start watching. Speaking of clear and effective, let's move on to YouTube channel branding. Let's click on the branding tab on the top. Here you can upload your channel art, your channel banner, and your video content branding. Basically, an icon on your video that brands it as yours and that people can click on to subscribe. We're gonna start with the channel icon. Your channel icon can either be a JPEG, GIF, BMP, or PNG file. Keep in mind no animated GIFs. And we recommend a size between 800 by 800 pixel image. Your channel icon is often either a logo, concept, or an image of yourself as the creator. Try to choose which image best represents your channel at a glance and might be easily remembered or recognized as you engage with the YouTube community. To add your channel icon, just click on the upload button here. In fact, we'll add our image now. Next up is the channel banner. The channel banner is very important. It shows at a glance what your channel is about, who is representing the content, when they're presenting the content, and a reason why a new viewer should subscribe to the channel. Let's take a look at the TubeBuddy channel banner now. The channel banner is seen more than any part of the YouTube channel and is important to make a good first impression. Your channel banner will appear differently on a desktop computer, a tablet, a mobile phone, and on your TV. When you're making your banner, be sure that your text and logos do not get cut off or cropped on any of the viewing devices. When we were making our banner for TubeBuddy, we have who is presenting. Here you can see, well, that's me. Then we have what people can expect. We say tools and tips for YouTube success. We let you know our schedule here, weekly uploads and live streams every Wednesday. A schedule is important, even if you don't have a hard definitive one. Letting people know the content is maybe monthly or weekly helps and users will check back to your YouTube channel to see if you've uploaded content if you tell them when you upload. We also have a call to action. At TubeBuddy, we want you to try the free version. So we point that out here. We'll talk about how to add links like this here in the basic info section. But for now, your banner should say who is presenting, what they're presenting, and when they're presenting, and what you want the viewer to do. At the very least, your banner should ask people to subscribe to your YouTube channel and not take them off YouTube, keep them watching your content. Going back to branding, when it comes to the video watermark, we recommend keeping it on for the duration of your video and choose an icon that works for you. It could be something like your logo and under it a subscribe button so people know that they can subscribe. But for us at TubeBuddy, it's just gonna be the TubeBuddy support logo. Let's look at the final section, the basic info section. The first section is the about section. When it comes to the about section, in the first few characters, we recommend mentioning who is in the videos and the channel name. You might be wondering, why should you include your channel name? Well, if we look at my personal channel using my name, Andrew Can, Notice how YouTube bolds the name. 
That's not random, it's on purpose. So make sure to include your target keywords, like your channel name, in the About section. You should also include channel keywords naturally, so TubeBuddy support is our channel name and our channel's purpose. We could write something like, Welcome to TubeBuddy support. At TubeBuddy support, we help you with all TubeBuddy problems. TubeBuddy problems is a channel keyword, and that's how we can fit it naturally in our About section. You should also mention the genre, niche, and other channel keywords. Having your upload schedule here can help too, but keep in mind that it's more beneficial if it's in your YouTube channel banner. Now, because we mentioned channel keywords, let's talk about how to add them, but be sure to publish your changes for now. You can do this by clicking on the publish button here. This is how you can save what you've done. Then click on the settings cog wheel here. In the channel section, you can add the channel keywords here. We have a whole video on channel keywords and you can click that card on screen to learn more about which channel keywords to add. At the bare minimum, a channel keyword should be your channel name, so we'll add that now. The channel keywords are words that you should naturally include, as we mentioned earlier. Heading back to basic info, below the About section, you can see your channel link. And when you have 100 subscribers, you can create a custom URL, and that will be shown here. The TubeBuddy support YouTube channels is youtube.com slash c slash TubeBuddy support. Below your channel URLs, you'll see links. Here is how we can add links to your channel banner. We recommend a subscribe link, a link to a website you own, maybe community sites like a forum or discord, and other social medias. Keep in mind if you're starting on YouTube and you drive people off YouTube and they don't come back, that could in theory hurt your YouTube channel. Under that, you'll have your contact information. This is very useful if any brand or other YouTube creator wants to reach out and maybe work on a deal with you. What we'll put is the public TubeBuddy support email address. Please do not put any personal information in your about section. We've seen phone numbers, home addresses, etc. Do not put your personal information here. With all of that information added, and if you're happy with how your channel is set up, you can click on the publish button. To see those changes, click on the view channel button. Do keep in mind, it might take a few minutes before the changes reflect on the channel page, so just be patient. If you've done the things we've recommended, you'll be able to optimize your YouTube channel. Optimizing your YouTube channel is important because if we look at our analytics, we can see that the channel page is a traffic source for views. So the more set up that your YouTube channel is, the more views it can help you earn when people find your channel because you put the viewer first and you're helping them get to know you and your video content. Did you make any of these changes to your channel page? Let us know in those comments down below. That video all about channel keywords is on screen, so click it to watch it. Do you want to learn more about YouTube and how to grow your channel? Subscribe and ring that bell. I'm Andrew Cam from TubeBuddy, and remember that you get one first impression with your YouTube channel, so make it count. Thank you so much for watching.